Well, I never thought I'd be doing one of these tutorial videos. Oh well, here we go. This tutorial is for ZDL. It's a handy little launcher tool for classic games like Doom. And it just helps you keep everything organized and it's nice and speedy so you can just get right to the game. So you don't have to like drag and drop files around. So first you're going to need to download some things. Obviously you need ZDL. So you can come here and download it. And you're going to need a source part like GZ Doom. This is the more modern day source part with modern features to make everything look all nice. There's other source ports, uh, more like retro kind of features. But yeah, I use GZ Doom, that's the best one for me. So, yeah, you can go around, you can test out other ones, you know see what the best one is for you but GZ Doom is the best one for me so I'll leave the links in the description so you can download these things and now let's check out ZDL alright here it is it's a simple little tool but first we need to set it up so up on the left here Click on settings. On the left side we have the source parts. And on the right we have the actual games. So you just go to Steam or GOG. And you can buy the games. They're cheap, you know, like five bucks. So you buy the game, you install it, and you want to find the wad fault the wad file here you know doom wad doom 2 whatever so install the game you get the wad file that's all you need so you can uninstall the game after that just grab the wad file so then you want to make like a doom folder right and keep everything doom related in that folder so you can easily get to it and you won't have to hunt it down across your computer so make a nice doom folder you make a source port folder you can put zdl in there you make a mod folder a level folder so keep everything together in one place so you can easily get it so to put these things in you just come down you hit the add button you name it, you know, Doom, Doom 2, whatever. Hit browse, you find the the WAD file in your WAD folder, in your Doom folder. And you hit OK. That pops it in there. And you come over here again, you just hit add, name it, GZ Doom, whatever. Hit browse, locate it, hit OK, and that's it. You're all set up back to the main page see over here we have the source ports so you can switch between source ports like some mods or level packs actually require a specific source port or version of a source port so it's good to have all these different ones here so you can easily switch between them here and in here you have your different games so you just choose your source port, choose your game, you hit launch, and that's it. You're playing the game. Now if you want to do mods and level packs, that's what the left side here is for. Again, you just hit add, and you go to your fo folders here, your mods, your levels. You just pick one, and there you go. You you got your level pack, you got your source port, your game, you hit launch, and that's it. So, now you're probably thinking, oh, this is going to be a pain in the butt. Every time I want to play a different map pack or a different mod, I'm going to have to rearrange this. 
It's going to be a pain. But no, it's simple. Again, like I said, you make your Doom folder. You keep everything together. It only takes a few seconds to click here and there. And pop a few folders, files in there. That's it. It doesn't take long. And say you have a specific setup you want. Like, oh, I really like this map pack. And I really like these mods. You can, you know, set it up. You know, put your files in here. Get it all set up. And you come down here to the ZDL tab. And you can save it. So then, if you ever want to play your favorite little setup again, just go to your saves, click, and boom. There it is. So you can save all your different little setups for specific mods or map packs. And you can just simply switch between them. So you don't have to do it every single time, you know. But yeah, if you keep everything in your Doom folder together, then it only takes a few seconds to set everything up. So it's not that hard. And once you've done it a few times, you get used to it. Anyway, now we have to talk about a mod order. Because, you know, if you just throw files in there, you know, You'll probably get all kinds of like errors and stuff when you try to play the game. You have to have them in the right order to make them work. Now, you talk to different people. They'll tell you different things like, oh, this file goes first, and that file goes last. But whatever. Everyone says something different. But this is how I do it, and this works. So that's good enough for me. So, the very first file that you want is your map pack. If you're playing a custom map, that goes first. That's the very first one. And after that is your gameplay mod. So, say you got Brutal Doom or Project Brutality. You know, the gameplay mod goes second. Then after that you have your like secondary kind of mods like you know a custom hood you know other stuff that goes with that and you want your like texture packs stuff like that you know other things that go with that and then finally your sounds and music packs go at the end so yeah, different people tell you different things. It's like, oh no, the music goes first. Yeah, but whatever. Everyone says something different. That's how I do it. It works for me. So, whatever. So, that's basically it. You set everything up with your source ports, your game mods, your mods over here. You just select what you want, you hit launch, and that's it. Alright, another thing I should say is, like here, see this level pack, it's a WAD file. You do not put that over here with the games. Mods and level packs go over here. You do not put any mods and level packs in here. This is for the games only. You do not put mods over here. It will not work. So, yeah, some people might get that confused and say, Oh, wow, no, I'm going to put that over here. No. Do not put mods over here. This is only for the actual games. All mods go over here. Alright? So don't make that mistake. So, that's pretty much it. You know how to set it up. You know how to put your different mods in. You know how to select source port and game. Hit launch. And that's it. And you can save and load different setups. Simple. Easy to use. Makes your life a lot easier. So you don't have to drag files around to drop them onto a, another file. Ugh. It's a pain in the butt. So yeah, ZDO, simple, easy, fun. 
So, now you can go out, get your Doom, other classic games, and play your mods, have fun. So yeah, that's it. Have fun playing your classic games. Bye-bye.